Today, we are going to solve a huge problem in cinematic VR. How to showcase your VR360 films or video to multiple people at once. Sync and without them touching any controllers. A true theater-like immersive experience. All your audience need to do is to put their headset on, sit back and relax to enjoy your film. Together with their friends, sit next to them at the same time. We will achieve that with the brand new Visfit Theater feature. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Visfit just has a major release. In this release, Visfit had a new feature called Synchronized Playback Control to enable VR business owners to provide a theater live VR experience to their customers. Using the iPad app Visfit Theater Manager as the controller, a movie festival staff or a classroom instructor can manage multiple VR headsets to play a list of 8K 360 video without viewer doing anything besides putting the headset on. All VR devices are connected and communicated using local Wi-Fi. So what is this theater-like VR experience so important to the success of VR industry? For us VR creators, we have multiple headsets, as you see right here. Watching a VR video is second nature to us. But not to people who do not even heard of Oculus Go. Regular people used to going to a theater with their friends, mostly loved one or a date. So a theater-like experience makes sense to them. The last thing you want is your viewer trying to figure out how to watch your film with the game light controller and already really frustrating having a frustrating experience before your film even start to play. Another thing about social viewing experience is most people going to watch the VR film is because of their friends. They are not sold to the whole VR concept yet. Just think about your super nerdy boyfriend. Super nerdy boyfriend. Want to go watch this some VR film and you had to come along and add interesting and be open-minded. So you're not gonna be judged. But when you sit in the theater and everybody is watching the same film with a headset on and laughing and making noise, and you realize you're the only one that put the headset down in like two minutes during the film, you will probably want to put the headset back on because the fear of missing out. So you were hanging out with Caitlyn yesterday? Re Rebecca, it's not what you did. I won't hesitate, bitch. It's just a basic human psychology. And at the end, maybe like 10 minutes later, when everybody finished the film at the same time and put down the headsets at the same time, they can have a meaningful discussion with their friends without waiting for the friend to finish to share the excitement. This, in turn, maximize the impact of your VR film and video. With this central control system, you can even become a VR VJ or DJ or VRJ. To queue up the next video for your viewers without them putting the headset back down, think about just showing them a QC Lion video and follow up with a jump scare VR experience. <coughs> wow, the creativity is limitless. So, and VRJ can be a real job in the future with this technology. So let me demo you how to set this whole thing up. So step one is go ahead, if you already have the Visfit account and Visfit feature, go ahead and download the app into your iPad. Uh, as you see right here, it's the Visfit Theater app. So after download that, let's go ahead and open that. The step one, I mean, oh, I'm already connected the iPad into my playlist. If you haven't, 
go to your Visbit portal on your internet, get the, the token number and input it on your Visbit app and it will load up your playlist on the app. And as you see right here, it's already loaded. And then also you can name your iPad into whatever theater name you want. The next step is just go ahead and download the Visbit app. If you have a Visbit account, you can already download your Visbit business app and download all your headset right here. Currently, the this feature is only available on Oculus Go and the Samsung S7, S8, and S9 with the Samsung Gear. So this one is actually the brand new Vive Focus and it will support later uh, when the feature release. Go ahead and download the video. So again, you're gonna input your token, right? And get your playlist and download the video before you want to connect it with the theater. Reason why is think about the theater experience. You're not gonna streaming the entire movie through internet uh, to your headset. You can, you can certainly can, you have a really fast internet connection. But the safest option is go ahead and pre-download all the video you're gonna showcase in your headset memory. So you can just control and play them and kill them up. And there's a big button to go ahead and hit enter theater mode and then put the headset down on the chair uh, as an organizer. So when people come in and sit down and say headset over there, the first thing they do is put the headset on and that's what you want them to do. Put the headset on, but don't keep the keeping this controller because you don't want to touch or do anything and you don't want to play game with your headset. You just want to sit there, relax and enjoy getting them ready, prep. So uh, then you can go ahead and hit set up theater and then as you see there this like Wi-Fi number but if your headset is on and just go ahead and try to turn the headset on for now and I'll go ahead and enter the theater so right now I have my two assistants put on the Oculus Go headset and now they're already connecting and paired with the Whisper Theater app as you see inside the app I can create a playlist I'll pick these two videos to create a playlist and then we'll start a session and as you see two headset is showing right here I can hit play and then they should be watching something right now Are you guys watching anything? Awesome so they're actually watching a video right now is the seal video right here as you see the progress of the both video as you see them when they head that around and also you can see the progression right here the two headset Look at that. Now they're looking around. <laughs> so this video is almost finished. As you see right here and right here. And now we jump onto the next video right here. So now that you're watching a different video, are you guys watching, what are you guys looking at right now? Creator up. Okay, is there uh, the music video? Yes. Okay, so then now they're going to the next music video. Uh, as you see, they see the progression bar right here and they two things at the same time. And then I can actually stop them. So now I hit pause. So tell me, you guys, the video is pausing, right? It's not playing? Yeah. Okay, so see, I can control it. Now I can play again. So now they can see the video again. And as you see, playing right there. <laughs> and then at the end, uh, if I end the video, I can end a video like that. If I hit this button, it will end the video. And now the video is end. Is the video end? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you, guys. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a like. I am teaching a 360 masterclass in Los Angeles in two weeks. If you are in town and if you are interested in upping your 360 production skills, click the link below to sign up. And I will see you next time.